<laughs> Next question is from Arison Driscoll. You've talked about how some trendy ideas are actually BS, such as women-specific workouts and diets. Yet the Mind Pump blog posts lately tend to be titled along the lines of best ways for women to lose weight, how to eat if you are an ectomorph, etc. Is this just for marketing or has your opinion changed? Oh, the beautiful dance that yeah. we have. Yee, to I, so this I, is fun. I picked this specifically so I could kind of break down uh, the strategy. So the, the overarching reason why we do Mind Pump, the main purpose behind it, is to counter all the bad information that's out there and provide good, accurate, actually helpful information. I mean, as trainers, we saw how much, how damaging um, the fitness space can be because it is. It's full of just a lot of terrible stuff. We also come to it as as people working out ourselves when we were kids. We saw how much damage it did to our clients. So we wanted to beat it. Now here's the problem. The problem isn't because there isn't good information that's out there. There's always been good fitness information. The problem is nobody reads it or looks at it because they don't get any attention. They suck at it. They suck at the marketing piece. They suck at the getting out there and getting people to pay attention. So in order to beat people, we have to beat them with fire. We have to fight fire with fire. So if we do a post that says best ways for women to lose weight, you better believe in the blog, we're going to break down how there is really, really is no difference between right. men and women. And we're going to educate you. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to use uh, marketing. T proven tactics that work. That, to get people's attention so that then we can deliver the right information. This is a, a very, very effective strategy. And I don't think we could beat the excellent marketers out there. Uh, unless we get people's attention, we have to. Well, this is this is unintentionally uh, turning into a, a similar conversation for me, at least. That this is an example again of system one and system two, and the way the brain works is everybody who sees these ads. If we were to come at them logically, you know, asking them to operate in system two in a Facebook ad, nobody would click on it. Yeah. Very small percentage of mm -hmm. people would see that come in their feed and then their brains switch over to that logical way of thinking. It doesn't and it, resonate. It doesn't. And so the idea is for them is to is to catch them in that in that first systematic part of the brain where they are just reactive. Oh my God, I want to lose weight. Oh my God, I need to do this. And so she they She looks like me. And then they then in the blog or in the episode, we get them to switch over into the second system where they can think logically about it. But we can't do that in a quick snippet that's five seconds in their feed. You got to mm -hmm. we got to play to the knowing that that's the way the brain operates and that that's what's going to get their attention. Then when they when they grab it, they download it. Then we can get them to switch over into the other one and think logically so about the, the information. So I'll give you guys, I'll give you a great example of how I uh, I've used this in the past. So in the past, I would communicate to clients who all they care about is how they look. All they're focused on is losing weight. All they care about is what looks what's in front of the mirror. Now, as a trainer, I understood that this was a problem because when you're driven by that, um, you end up having unhealthy behaviors. You end up eating in a particular way that's damaging. You end up training yourself in a way that's punishing yourself. And you get this on the wagon, off the wagon type of behavior. So what I wanted to communicate to people is, look, rather than focusing on how you look, let's focus on how you feel. Let's focus on your health. Let's focus on taking care of yourself instead of hating yourself. Now that's all logical. That's you all you can't do that day one. Though. No, and it, it's all logical, but but it does. It's not going to come across. I'm not going to be effective to someone who just wants to look a particular way. So what I did is I I changed how I communicated a little bit, and this is what I said. Well, you can definitely focus on how you look, but here's what will happen: if you focus on how you look, your eating habits and your exercise routines will eventually make you look bad because you're not really listening to your body. If you focus on your health and how you feel. The side effect of that is you'll look better. Now, what did I do? I took what the person, and, and by the way, that's all true. I'm not lying. I took what that person was most motivated by, and I used it to get them to understand how to do the right stuff. Now, here's what ends up happening. I get the person who all they care about is how they look. They're listening to me because I convinced them that if they listen to their body, take care of themselves, they'll look better anyway. Through the process, they start to realize this is the better way to be. I actually should care about myself. I actually should listen to my body. So when we're looking at the fitness space, it's like, okay, how do I take eyes off of that terrible individual over there who's promoting horrible, uh, you know, unhealthy behaviors? How do I get people to look, go from there to what we're saying, 
Um, you know, it's like, how do I beat the person that says lose 30 pounds in 30 days? Do I say, Hey, lose 30 pounds in 12 months. Like that's not going to (laughs) work. It just isn't going to work. So I got to fight fire with fire, bring them over and then use effective communication to communicate what's really good for you. What really is going to work. And I tell you what, it's the reason why mind pump, um, has achieved the level of, of success that it's achieved is because we're getting good at that strategy.